RS High Performance Hockey, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make your own attack triangle at home out of easy to find and cheap materials. For those of you that don't know, an attack triangle is a stick handling training device. The one we're going to make at home today looks like this, and I'm going to show you a very simple drill here in a second that you can do with one. Now the only pieces of equipment that we're going to need to make this today, a pair of ratcheting PVC cutters. I got these at Home Depot for about $18.99. This is a superior, superior tool brand, but they're pretty easy to find, not that expensive. And then a couple of things you'll have at home. First one is a Sharpie. Next one is a tape measure. Okay, so here's all the raw material that we're going to need to make this. Up top here, you can see we've got the PVC pipe. Those are two foot lengths. Those are three quarter inch width. Next, we've got the couplers here. These are 40, or these, excuse me, are 90 degree elbows. We're gonna need three of those. We're gonna need two couplers. These are one inch thick because they're gonna have to interface with the 90 degrees right here. Next up, 45 degrees. Gonna need 45 degree elbows, two of them. Next, we're gonna need a T-shaped elbow. That's also 3 quarter inch. So everything here is 3 quarter inch, except the couplers right here are gonna to need to be one inch thick. And this is all the raw material we're gonna need. This cost me $12.57 to buy this. So to start, we're gonna take a two foot length of PVC pipe. We're gonna measure 12 inches with our tape measure here. Mark it with the Sharpie, draw a straight line, should look like so. Then we take the ratcheting PVC cutters, they open like that, place the PVC here, and you want to line up the blade with the line that you just made with your Sharpie. Now you hear it clicks into place, now it's going to click into the PVC and you've got to give it a hard squeeze here and we'll cut them in two. Now you simply pull and it snaps back and you can lock it in place, set it aside. Okay. Now we're going to take a straight two foot PVC pipe, insert it with a 45 degree elbow, insert the other 45 degree elbow on the other side. Be sure that they're pointing in opposite directions. Now we're going to take our pieces that we just cut, and we're going to insert them in the 45 degree elbows. Now we have what looks like a hockey stick. We're going to set that aside. Now to make the feet portion, I've pre-cut just to help save time because I've already shown how to cut a two foot segment, so I've pre-cut do the exact same thing. You measure one foot lengths, cut it in half with your ratcheting PVC cutter, insert them in either end of the T shape like this. Then you're going to take a 90 degree elbow, put one on one side, put one on the other side. Now we take our straight couplers. Remember, these need to be one inch in diameter. They won't fit over the three quarter inch 90 degree angle. We insert on one side. We insert on the other side. Now we have the T portion and the feet right here. Next step is to make the upright body portion. And this is the most difficult part for me when I was figuring out how to make this because this has to be cut to a very specific length. It can't be cut to just half and half. I'm gonna bypass all the math about how this works, but if it's too tall, the stick's not going to lay level. If it's too short, the stick's not going to lay level. So what you have to do, the number here is 13.5 inches. That's how much of this we have to cut. So we're going to take a two foot length of PVC pipe, going to set it next to our measure. We're going to go to 13.5 inches right here. And we're going to mark it. Unlock my ratcheting PVC cutter. 
insert the pipe. Okay, we're trying to line the blade up with that mark that I made with the Sharpie. We cut, keep squeezing, okay, and it cuts cleanly. Now, we have our 13.5 inch piece and we have a short piece here. You can either discard this, you can use it for your track and field team as a baton, but it's not actually gonna go in the attack triangle. So I'm gonna set that aside. Now, take this last 90 degree elbow, insert it so that it looks kind of like a periscope. I'm gonna take that, insert it in the feet. Then I take the hockey stick portion, insert right here, and as you can see, in no time at all, have an attack triangle. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to make your own attack triangle at home. The raw materials here cost me $12.57, spent about 18 bucks on the PVC cutters, but you can reuse those and reuse those. So basically, normally these run $60 to over $100, depending on where you get them online, or you can make them at home. So it's a really great training tool that you can use in your home training area to continue to improve your skills, even if you're stuck at home. But remember, you don't get better at hockey from building the attack triangle, you get better at hockey from using the attack triangle. I want to see what you guys can build at home. I want to see your attack triangle. So we're going to make this a little contest. The first person who builds an attack triangle posts the picture on social media and then sends me the link at brandon at brshockey.com. That person is going to win their very own green biscuit that they can use with their brand new homemade training aid.